the enhancement of uh, the enhanced carry permit, which involves not criminal, not licensed to gun, just like here in California, and the only difference is you have to go through a gun permit. And all of a sudden, we are the cops. And in Tennessee, there are currently 686,000 enhanced handgun carry permits. Those uh, first go passes, and it looks pretty good. Uh, there's going to be another almost 700,000 cops in the street. Uh, but cops are now saying And one of the uh, issues that the police themselves, the police are not exactly uh, you know, uh, illegal with the people in the South, are saying, uh, here when we go, every year we're on the shooting range, every year we're taking courses, we're enhancing our skills, I mean, it is brutal what we have to go through to keep our ability to maintain our weapons on our person. And you have to show a skill level, you have to show uh, a level of moderation, and uh, with this bill, it's wide open. You, anybody becomes a cop. It's truly vigilante style. Now, is it going to pass? Well, it, it may. Uh, but the point is, uh, the, the reason I brought this up is the disparity that's going on. I mean, we, the right oh. is going wildly right. Imagine this. All of a sudden, there's 700,000 new cops. All you need is a gun permit, and you're a cop. Uh, and then the other side is the other way, except the left is losing all of its power. And the right is gaining all of its power. Uh, and we'll see if other states pick this up. I don't know. Uh, a story of immigration and a story of who's working and who's not. It's, it's kind of a weird one. Uh, but uh, 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 Jennifer, you've got some news you want to share with us. Yeah, the cost of Amazon Prime subscription is jumping from $119 to $139 a year. The month-to-month -month subscription is also increasing to $14.99. That's up from $12.99, and it all starts March 25th. A cargo ship full of Porsches and Volkswagens, Volkswagens is burning in the Atlantic. Authorities in Portugal say 22 crew members have been rescued from the burning vessel. And Kanye West says his upcoming album won't be on any other streaming platforms but his own. His new album, Donda 2, is scheduled to come out February 22nd, but fans will only be able to find it on the rapper's stem player. We've got your drive on the 10 in just a moment from the HMS Capital Weather Center. It's sunny today with highs in the 60s and 70s. This report is brought to you by Audible. Let's take a check of the 10 freeway. <laughs> Boy, a busy place, that's for sure. You can almost bet the farm on this drive. I don't even care what day of the week it is. But the westbound 10 right now, leaving downtown Los Angeles right up to West LA. It's just the morning crawl, it really is, so with all lanes open. You're, if you're headed to Culver City, I mean, I always talk about this, but Washington Boulevard, that was an easy drive after Sony Studios to even get to 405. Now, the, the long plane problem is just on us. West 210, Rosby, Mitchell, Linda, only right lane has been open from pre-dawn, back up still in the 605. We're almost back there. I'll give you an update in just a little bit. I guarantee you, the West End looking good. Jeff Baugh, KFI in the sky. Mix this the winter of the year with Audible. Listen to the best of what you love. Like. From comedy to wellness to the latest bestsellers. Find it all at Audible. With audiobooks, exclusive originals, and popular podcasts. Start listening free when you sign up at audible.com. This report is sponsored by Cal Recycle. Want to make sure your recycling actually gets recycled? Californians are recycling smarter with tips on how to empty, dry, and sort properly. Visit irecyclesmart.com to take your recycling to the next level. That's iRecycleSmart.com to your part Recycle Smart. Even weathered this pandemic by doing our part to protect each other. So let's stick to what's proven to keep us safer from COVID-19 and its variants. Like no, I ain't Frodo. Getting tested before and after traveling and gathering. And staying home if you feel sick. Let's keep our immunity strong. Visit myturn.ca.gov or call 833-422-4255 to find a vaccine or booster near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. 
This is Nick Alexander from Alexander BMW. Come down and find out what makes the wholesale district special. We have the highest rated customer satisfaction and the lowest overhead in all of Southern California. That equals the best value for you. Call 800-800-NICK. And remember, Nick can't say no. If you still want to refinance your mortgage, then soon you might be kicking yourself in the head. Rates are at historic lows. So take advantage of our new fast track loan with an unbelievable low rate of 3.375 rate and APR with our no closing cost 30 or fixed loan. That's right, no points, no fees. Hi, I'm Western Hogan with Lennox Financial, a trusted lender for over 20 years. Even if you've refinanced in the last year, you can still probably save you money. All it takes is a five minute phone call to find out how you can save up to thousands of dollars a year. This amazing 3.375 rate in APR won't last long, and our new fast track loan process can get it done in record time. So call today, 844 425 3669. That's 844 425 3669. It's the biggest no brainer in the history of mankind. Call us at 844 425 3669. This is over side of the California residential mortgage lending act and MLS number 3304. Not a loan supply, equal housing lender. Visit us at lennoxhomeloans.com or call for additional cost information. Other restrictions apply. Late subject to change. Johnny, Kevin, Kevin, Donate your car today with 1877 Cars for Kids. We're a recognized 501c3 charity organization, so you'll receive a maximum tax deduction. What's more, you'll receive a vacation voucher of three days and two nights. Also on the web at carsforkids.com. 1877 Cars for Kids. Donate your car today. Accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Live and unscripted with LA County Sheriff Alex V. Nueva. I'm a firm Got practitioner it. and servant leader. Yeah, this see? week, the sheriff discusses the L.A. political system and the upcoming mayoral race. I do not tolerate corruption in any form, and I hold my personnel accountable to the rule of law. L.A. County Sheriff Alex Villanueva, live and unscripted. This Sunday evening at 8 on KFI. <laughs> AM uh, 640. Bill Handel here. It is a Friday morning, February 18th. Uh, I have a story I want to share with you. And let's start with the premise that uh, to govern uh, a country like the United States, uh, it, it's pretty near impossible to govern something this big, this bureaucratic, this massive, uh, an economy like this, a number of employees just running the U.S. government. And right now, Joe Biden is getting some pretty horrific uh, numbers in terms of his approval rating. One of these things about presidential approval ratings, I mean, they go up and down every day. And uh, he's having a really tough time with it. Well, because, number one, of course, the pandemic. Uh, number two, because of the economy, because of inflation. All of those but let me uh, give you just one spin on how just difficult it is and the bureaucracy involved and how... Uh, the it, the federal government moves at a snail's pace in doing virtually everything. Uh, what happened during President Trump's tenure, for example, dealing with the vaccine uh, and creating it within a year. I mean, that was a miracle. That was lightning in a bottle. I and mean, No one could believe it's happened that quickly. And uh, President Biden's uh, approach and attempt to have everybody vaccinated. I mean, that is balls to the wall. But let me tell you what's going on just in terms of everyday business. And let me, it's a story about a guy, and this is typical because there are hundreds of thousands in his position. Uh, he is an asylum seeker, uh, Biraj Nepal, and he lives uh, in Woodland, California. And he's a, a software engineer. He's been working in an IT department of a bank for the last four years. And he has asked for asylum, and he's sitting here and waiting. Now, uh, people that are asking for asylum can get permits to work, and they have to apply every two years. Well, January 26th, he went on unpaid administrative leave because his work permit had expired. Remember every two years? Well, that just expired. He wasn't able to, uh, he wasn't oh, able to get it uh, extended, which was almost automatic. What happened? Well, the government has yet to process that. So what does the employer do? Well, employer has to uh, have him working while he is, uh, while he has his work permit, and if not, he's got to let him go. He can't work. And now he goes. Now he's an unemployed asylum seeker without a job, and he came over with a job, and it's just, it's a mess. And so what ends up happening is uh, companies are desperate for employees, particularly in the IT department, 
and you've got a pile of people in the hundreds of thousands who have that skill set, and the twain does not meet. And if he has an issue to work in, uh, permit within 90 days, uh, the company, by law, can't hold on to his job. He's now in limbo. company has to look for someone else. And it's all because of the bureaucracy, which used to work okay, but now the numbers are so great. And a lot of this is what happened during the Trump presidency where uh, all of... Uh, the permits, etc., were slowed down because money was taken away, budget was taken away from these departments, the State Department to handle all this. I mean, it wasn't per particularly pro-asylum, uh, it wasn't pro-immigrant, and now we've got a situation where it has come and just kicked us in the butt. So, uh, according to the government, it just fits. And uh, this is uh, the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. Uh, the backlog is so extraordinary that it, uh, it, it could be years. Now, normally, you send an application for a renewal. Let's say you are an immigrant and you get your work. And for a renew it, normally, it's a 12 minute process. That's, that is the average thing. You look at it, you're going to sign off, you're done. You get either two years. Uh, government can't keep up, not even close. So, right now, uh, the agency is taking eight months to a year to issue those work permits. That used to take them days. Well, and, uh, federal law yes, directs that the agency well, take no well, longer than 180 uh -huh. days to process any application. That's the, that's the outside. Well, and just, during that time, they're sending extensions, uh, which is automatic. Those days are gone. Now, the additional uh, days is not really a uh, hard legal requirement. Is why they were really get away with it. But right now, it doesn't even matter. Yes, 1.5 million applications sitting there at the end of September. All people who should have jobs or did have jobs, good paying jobs, highly skilled jobs, and they can't work and the employers can't get the employees. And it's a problem for everybody. Immigrants are applying for work for the first time permits. Uh, those who are seeking to renew their uh, authorization. And it really didn't matter if it took a while, I and mean, it could take years, a couple years, three years, four years, but it didn't matter because whoever had a work permit was protected, couldn't be deported, was able to work, and it was perfectly safe. It's just the status had to change. You apply for a green card during this period, uh, or you apply for a permanent visa, it, it doesn't matter. Well, now it's a problem. And this delay is affecting the entire range of immigrants. Asylum seekers to DACA program recipients. So, as of December, let's look at the uh, job staff. A million, 11 million job openings. Everything from tech to trucking, all of them. And of those industries uh, that the job openings uh, exist, they rely more heavily on immigrant workers. And you've got policies that have prevented uh, about 2 million new immigrants from coming in. Just because of the new policy. So you've got people that can't work. You've got about 2 million immigrants who did come into work. And remember, we are in desperate, the employers are, uh, the employers are desperate to have these people work. So the available supply of workers has shrunk. The number of workers that are already there has shrunk. The ability to get uh, the permits has shrunk. And so it is just after critical. And the closures and the staff, the pandemic is there, uh, has created a backlog uh, as of right now, 8 million applications across the board. Okay. Work permit applicants have to be photographed, they have to be fingerprinted in person, according to law. There's no office to do that. Try getting a driver's test when the offices were all closed. You couldn't do it. Then you got a budget crisis because we're hoping they're facing. And uh, the application spiked last year. You've had more than ever. We've had more than ever before. And inability to deal with it. So uh, the president has taken some steps. Uh, but uh, not automatically extending the validity period, which is the end of the deal. And I, I don't know why he hasn't done it. Because these are people that have already been processed. They've been okayed. Uh, they've gone through the background checks. They've given their permits. There's two-year permits. 
They have to be renewed. And you would think the way to deal with all of this would simply be an automatic reinstatement, automatic extension. Not happening. Oh, so I don't understand why. And now we go back to the uh, original premise. Why, it, when it makes so much sense, wouldn't they do something as simple as this? Well, we're not sitting in government, are we? We don't know how many regulations there are. We don't know what it takes for that particular process to, uh, to happen. Right. Does it take, uh, are, are, there, are there hearings that have to be held? Uh, which agency is involved? Are there Senate or House committees that oversee it? And so the backlog uh, is so large, it's never going to be solved quickly enough unless they change everything. Uh, from the application form to the way these permits are given out to the overseeing of the permits. Uh, keep in mind, when you talk about asylum seekers, oh, uh, they just walk over the border and they claim asylum and boom, they're, uh, they're let in the United States. It's not that simple. I mean, when you deal with immigration, uh, it is insanely complicated stuff. When I was a kid and my parents dealt with immigration to become naturalized, getting the green card, etc. It was complicated then. Today, the complications are far, far heavier than they ever were. And the need for workers is immense. Uh, the economy desperately needs those. Employers need them. Employees need, need them. And uh, it's, it's just not working. And again, it's... You know, it's a, what do you have, three, four million employees that work for the federal government? I don't know how many thousands of agencies. Uh, if you've got Congress, you've got a board of directors, if you will. If the president is the CEO, you've got a board of directors. Uh, that's 535 people, 435 on the House side, 100 on the Senate side, all controlling. Uh, yeah, you want to be president. That's a great job. Coming up, handle on the news late edition. Uh, first, uh, a little bit of COVID news. What's going on, Jennifer? Uh, hospitalizations in LA County are down 26 percent from a week ago. LA County Health Director Barbara Ferrer says on Friday the 11th, there were 2,307 patients being treated for COVID. As of yesterday, the number had dropped to 1,713. But Ferrer says death remains high. And I'm very sad to share that since the start of the pandemic, we lost over 30,000 people. Dang crap. Outstanding design defines the 2011 
Acura TL. This four-door, five-passenger sedan is ready to drive off the showroom floor. Acura perfected each and every component on the exterior surface. Alloy wheels sit inside the fenders, yielding an attractive, well-proportioned stance. You can rely on ultra-bright xenon headlights to keep the roadway illuminated. The premium materials employed in the interior satisfy drivers seeking refinement. In colder climates, occupants will appreciate the heated front seats, pairing with the climate control to keep the driver and front passenger comfortable. All of the premium features expected of an Acura are offered, including a built-in garage door transmitter, power moonroof, Bluetooth enabled, remote keyless entry, and leather upholstery. Everything is where it ought to be, from the dashboard controls to the door locks and window controls. Acura ensures the safety and security of its passengers with equipment such as dual front impact airbags with occupant sensing airbag, head curtain airbags, traction control, anti-whiplash front head restraint, ignition disabling, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. This car was designed with safety in mind, allowing you to drive with even greater assurance. The 2011 Acura TL, distinctly rendered with the utmost precision, this car expresses top-tier capabilities, proving the automaker's commitment to quality, safety, and comfort. The Infinity perfected this echo part on stereo surface. How are we going to say? Infinity car has missing things. And more.
Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 